Hi, I'm Lindsay with The Culture Project, and today I'm gonna to be talking about judging the pill, but not women who are on it. I don't know your story. I don't know why you are taking birth control. And the last thing I wanna do is make you feel like I'm judging you as a woman. You, dear sister, are strong. There's probably something going on with your health that I don't know about. A woman's health is very complex. With an interplay of hormones at work that helps support our overall well-being. if something is off, that can lead to a lot of discomfort, pain, and uncertainty. The last thing I wanna do is judge you, but for one moment, I would like to judge the pill that you take each day. Studies are coming out telling us that the pill is causing a great deal of harm in women, with side effects such as blood clots, strokes, heart attacks, gallbladder disease, and an increased risk of cancer, along with some of the daily side effects like headaches, mood swings, and even a link between hormonal birth control and depression. There is something that this tiny pill contains that is placing our bodies in an abnormal pattern of healthy function. It is not morally wrong to be on the pill for medical reasons, but using the pill as medication will not treat the underlying symptoms in your body. A form of medication should not be putting us at this kind of risk. Now it is hard to point fingers and judge anyone because we as a culture are just not fully aware of the implications that come with taking the pill. There is a multi-billion dollar pharmaceutical industry that encourages doctors to offer these drugs to their patients. And while they may work to suppress certain symptoms, many do believe that these pills are causing more harm than good. But I I wouldn't even dare say that the health risks are the greatest reason to not tolerate the pill. If a new hormone-free birth control pill hit the market tomorrow, it would still be harmful to our bodies and our relationships because it actually changes what sex is. Sex is meant to be a total gift of self, free, total, faithful, and fruitful. Contraception of any kind hinders the potential for the transmission of life, but also leaves room for sex to be used to bring about pleasure and not love. Creation of another human person is so central to the act itself that negation of this end is harmful to the couple too. The pill keeps us from understanding the way we as women have been uniquely designed to create and sustain life. I think the greatest harm that the birth control pill has induced upon our culture is that we are a culture of women who don't really understand our own fertility and how Health. We've reduced our care and treatment of reproductive care to one pill. And we're not being taught about our consistently changing hormone levels, monthly ovulation, and how to understand what our own bodies are trying to communicate to us. So no, I do not want to judge you for taking birth control. I do want you to know the truth. I do want you to experience care for your beautiful God-given body, and I do want you to live in the freedom that comes from knowing that your fertility is a sweet gift and beautiful part of who you are. For more information and to access doctors in your area who may be able to serve you holistically, please visit Natural Womanhood and Fem Health. Links are in the description below. Thanks so much for watching. Please click here to subscribe and here to watch more videos.